How you doing, bud? You being a bad boy? You being a good boy? Yeah, it's my microphone. Don't eat it. All right, well, hey, haven't done this in a long time. So, uh, I'm doing back to the old proper vlog. Can you see the camera I'm using? Yeah, I'm using my DSLR. I haven't uh, done a good old, good old fashioned like hold the DSLR vlog in a long time since I got the GoPro at least. It makes, it's just easier. But I got some races coming up and I need to get the uh, seat time back with this. Enough uh, jibber jabber, as uh, Taylor Ray would say. So, today I've got a few things to work on. This, <laughs> I goofed. I was backing out of the driveway the other day to go play in the snow and I smashed into uh, my garbage cart. And I didn't mean to, it just kind of touched it a little bit and just creased it enough where it popped and broke the glass. But thankfully, we got people in the world like Papa Jerry. And Papa Jerry hooks it up. So Papa Jerry got me a brand new, well, you know, Newish. ish right, I'm gonna have to rewrap it obviously, but no big deal there. Second off, I, uh, I broke the axle. This axle broke while I was out hooning and I'll, I'll show you the damage when I get it off. But I finally got the new axle in after the snowstorm and all of this stuff. And I need to order a couple spares. Usually I have a spare, I've got, I do have a spare axle the driver's side that I carry in the back hatch. I didn't have a spare passenger because, well, frankly, I've never broken a spare passenger, or I've never broken a passenger. First one I've broken. So let's get this thing all jacked up. I'm gonna have to jack up this whole entire side and kind of lean the wagon over a little bit because I'll be pulling the axle out of the transmission and I don't want to lose all my fluid. So uh, yeah, I want to give that a shot. Hopefully it works. So let's see. The axle pulled out. The, doing an axle on these things are super easy. I, I know me and Brett have talked about it a bunch of times, but there's a, uh, I want to get him in a competition so he can change an axle faster. I think obviously he might win, but I don't know. I thought about challenging him on this video, but next time, your time's up, old man. But anyway, I pulled the axle out, and you see, no no real drippage. I've, it, I was kind of thinking, like, maybe, so when I was going to pull that out, I, I kind of thought about this video that me and my friends saw back in high school, where it's this lady and this horse. Never mind. Uh, but anyway, so when I pulled this axle out, I was expecting a lot of stuff to go bleh, out on the ground, but uh, nope, it was all good. I was really surprised. I guess I got it up high enough where uh, it wasn't going to leak out. So. Let's check out the damage. This is the outer cup that was actually broke. And it looks like, I don't know if it's gonna actually come completely out or not. Yeah, it's, it was spinning freely without actually returning, there you go. So, I don't know, I don't really, ugh, dang it. See, that's why I didn't wanna mess with that. Yeah, that, that's a, the outer cup is destroyed. So, I'm gonna keep that. Because uh, I like to keep these things around because there's a lot of spare parts that I can use from the boots and the cups and all that stuff. If you saw my old video where I fixed my drive shaft, I actually used an old axle here and I used that to rebuild the drive shaft for this thing. So it's always good to keep spares around. It makes me kind of a hoarder, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, I need, to, God, I need to clean this place up so bad. Uh, sorry for the mess, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna get the new axle slapped in there, greased up, and uh, good to go. All right, just took it on test drive, and uh, fantastic. Did a little bit of super low crawling up the curb, a little hard parking, and uh, no issues. So I think we're good there. Also went ahead and swapped at the mirror. I cannot, I, I didn't ever think I'd say I love a man again, but you know what, Jerry? I love you, buddy. Thank you so much for everything. Jerry has helped me out with little things that I've broken on stinking wagons. I broke this, he got me that. This tail light was busted. He got me this tail light corner. Oh, there's several. He got me corner lights from my other parts wagon, which, you know, wagons are super hard to find in the factory lights. Just a good guy all around. Everybody in the comments say, thank you, Jerry, if you got this far at least. And just like that, if you stay right about here, looks good. If you get up close and look underneath, it looks like uh, poopy. But the important part is, it's back together. It's not broken. Then you get another bus mirror to put right there so I have a good clear visibility everywhere. But uh, I get emails all the time like, hey, will you try this product? Hey, do you want to look at this? Hey, do you want to try this? And usually I, yeah, I will. I'm a product whore. Like I love getting free stuff. And I love trying new stuff, especially if it's kind of cool. Well, I got contacted about this today and uh, it actually came in today. Like literally while I was filming this video, working on the wagon. And uh, let me show you what's all in the kit.
And I'll be uh, the first to admit, I wasn't expecting to be impressed, but after I got this thing out of the kit and actually started kind of messing around and looking at the quality of it, I'm actually kind of excited to have it and try it and mess with it. So uh, all their information will be down in the uh, description below. It's a little Amazon store. And uh, I get contacted by all the time by little stuff like that. And I forgot the flashlight at home, so it has a rechargeable flashlight. It's actually a pretty good quality flashlight. Lots of other little attachments that come in this thing. There's a saw. There's all kinds of things in the kit. It's got a fire starter kit. Screws in the back of this thing. There's a little handle. But for the price, I was really, really, really surprised how good the quality on all that stuff is. It's all stainless. It's got a little measuring thing on the back. It's got these bolt kind of threads. It's got a serrated edge, chopping edge. And the extra sharp nose look pretty nasty sharp too. I'm gonna give it a whack on a tree and just kind of see what it's like. Now granted, this is a very dead tree, so. Oh, oh, excuse me. Hands are come. You gotta get out of the way, but Hands are come. Chops well. Got a saw on the back. And granted, when it comes right out of the package, it's not super sharp, but you can solve that. It's a, like I said, it's stainless. It's a pretty thick gauge stainless, too. Yes. I'd, I'd venture to say that's actually pretty blunt, and I did that already with this. So, uh, yeah. Go check them out. Pick up one of these. Hell of a deal. I like it. Thanks, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I just kind of wanted to go over and uh, try the wagon out, just get it ready for uh, do some adventure. We were supposed to go do some stuff tomorrow, but I think Frank actually has some plans, so so may not be able to go do that, but we'll figure out something to do this weekend because I... Uh, Got a busy few weeks coming up real soon, and uh, I'll keep you guys posting that. So, until next time, peace, guys.